it's a beautiful day and the scrapyard should be open because it is a new year and everybody's back to work. Mostly everybody. I would love to take in the big collection that I've been piling up in there, but in order to do that, I need to empty this thing out. So since it's already, it's only half full, let's go on an adventure and see if we can get it full full first. Come on. Well, hello. Look at this cute little thing. It's just an Ikea one made of pine, but uh, it's a lovely little plant stand. We'll take that for sure. Why, hello there. Nice to meet you. Engine still sounds a little noisy. Jeez, those are... Those are neat, but they're not going to be brass. But the skis... Those are cool. These don't look that bad. Need a bit of a tune-up, but uh, sports rental. X rental skis. Ha! Huh. I'm gonna give those a maybe. I'll remember where this is. I might come back for it. For the skis, I mean. Got a bit of steel. Got some wire. What else can we pull? Is that? No, it's not mercury. This is a doorbell. Interesting. Interesting. I'm not sure if I'm gonna fiddle with that. And a shower rack. And then we have... Oh, that one's aluminum. And it looks... It's actually pretty clean. Cool. And these will go in as prepared steel. Ah, sweet. It's pretty clean, too. Great news, everyone. And I also saw this. But I don't know how I feel about it. It actually matches a piece that I have at my house. Huh. Okay, I like it. It's not like soaked and ruined. Huh, looks like it's intended to stand that way and not the other way, but uh, we'll think about it. Ooh, heck yeah. Almost want this for by the fireplace actually. Might keep it. Oh, hello, friend. That is an old doorknob. <clears throat> Gonna see if I can find a screwdriver and pull that off. <gasps> Look at this. Flatheads all around, but just look at that beauty. Oh, she's heavy. She's heavy. She's greasy. Cool. 
quite happy to add that to the collection. What else have we got here? Are you serious right now? We get to pick. We'll go with whichever one's the least rusty. Somebody knows how to strip wire. But they don't save clean aluminum. Woo. Oh, wow. Look at that toilet seat. More importantly, the big old bits of brass. Hold on a moment. Perhaps my eyes do deceive me. Or perhaps... Da -da -da -da. Just the one? And that frees this, which is all plastic insides. <sighs> Look at this big old piece of uh, Mm, I thought it was aluminum. Now I think it's steel. But we'll still take it. But we want a flathead. Alright. Oh, hello, friend. Hi. No, no, feel free. You can hang out. It's nice to meet you. You are a beautiful color. I hope you're doing well today. A screwdriver is often the part that I forget. All right, we'll see if we can make this work. It's not ideal. Nope, still junk. See, that's the problem with doorknobs. This uh, this outer piece might be okay, but usually it's just like a brass shell around a uh, uh, a pot metal interior, which this one seems to be an example of. So, <sighs> well, now that our stowaway has left, That's a good piece. <sighs> Those ones, not as excited about. <sighs> See, I have enough multi screwdrivers to have one in the shop, one in the house, and one in the car or truck, but uh, <laughs> I always move them around. Uh, it would be a simple matter to just put them in places and theoretically leave them there, but there's one. Bunk. There's two. Bunk. Let's see if I can pull these doorknobs. Yep. You know, this door itself is probably the most valuable part. 
because it's old and it's actually wood. But this piece right here. I wonder if I can get away with just breaking the plastic. Yeah, nah, we're gonna do that the lazy way. Think. You know what? Strange as it might seem, I think somebody might pay money for this. We're just gonna take the whole toilet seat. Some bits of brass and some treasures for sale. Let's scoot. Why, hello. I know this is brass. Ooh. Bit of a clog. Should be able to do this with the channel locks. Change my mind. This stuff is crazy sharp, so we're not leaving it lying around. There we go. That'll do for now. Brass! Would you just look at that? It's like... It almost looks like it's rusty. <laughs> it's definitely junk. How about this? Replacing all of the plumbing in your house, maybe? Oh, uh... I was making a joke. Oh, I see some good parts. I see some goody. Okay, let's uh, let's not get too excited. Let's just hop in there and see what we find, huh? Whole bunch of little brass fittings. When there's a big pile and you do them in a batch, you know. So these little guys are copper. We'll uh, we'll pocket those for sure. Couple bits in there. A lot of brass and copper elbows. <clears throat> that one's exciting. This one's also exciting. Yeah, yeah. Um, what is that? What is that? Wild. Well. More copper bits and pieces. I wonder how those were cut. Because they don't have grinding marks. They were sheared. There must be a tool to do this, you know? I should look that up because it looks like it makes it a lot easier. Maybe I should get one. 
another toilet. Huh, it's just, it's just toilet time right now. Mm, sometimes those are nice and brass, but this one is not. Looks like we've already found all the treasures we're gonna get out of here. This one actually feels, looks and feels like stainless steel, which is kind of cool. these pieces. I don't really want to bring home all the tubing. But, hey, looks like we're Oh, you know what? Some tools could help us a little bit here. our lives just that little bit easier and this oh good chunk of copper right there and the problem with this right here right now is I don't have my good hammer you know we can give it a try but we're not doing it without eye protection because cracking cast iron it can it can be crazy Now, for those of you who likely don't understand why I'm doing all this, it's because these old school cast iron pipe systems were sealed with lead. We covered this before in a video and a lot of people saw it, so I, I don't wanna get too into detail. Maybe I'll link it somewhere. But for anybody who hasn't watched it, um, you take this stuff in just the way it was and you get uh, dirty, tin shred but if you take all this lead off not only do you clean turn this into clean cast iron but the lead is worth 30 cents a pound as it is at a scrapyard however it's also really high quality lead it's pure soft lead so it's worth a fair bit more to someone who's going to cast it. And if you can find the right buyer, you can get upwards, well, you can get up to like $5 a pound. It's a little optimistic. I'd, I'd probably expect two or maybe $3 a pound. And we can actually get that tiny bit of copper out. Oh, wait. No, we just did. This is all copper. Nice. There we are, a couple pounds of clean, soft lead. A couple pounds of clean cast iron. And a chunky brass fitting. It's hard to show on camera, but when I was hitting it with a hammer, you can see the, the brass color reveal itself. Plus it doesn't weigh nearly as much as the iron. So, well, okay, the weight is about the same. That's just me being additional. Is that a word? I'm using it wrong. Sorry, I'm uh, 
too much swinging of the old kinetic energy transfer device and uh, I don't know, <laughs> I can't speak. Let's keep looking. Well, hello. What have we here? This is actually just like a whole bin of bits of steel. And a broken VCR. individual piece there is not very exciting, but there is some weight. I just want all of it. Nailed it. something in there. Okay. Absolutely no wire in that one. I sort of have my doubts. We'll find any wire at all now. That one has aluminum wire inside. That's the first time I have ever seen that. This one's aluminum too. Unfortunate. Hey. A whole lot of that, or whatever that is, a bunch of Minwax products. Small metal piece. Nothing we want. Oh, that's pretty. I just want the metal objects. Look at all those sheets of glass. in there. Well, probably good. Probably good there. <laughs> hello, hello. What do we say? Gosh, that's a uh...
Look at that cute little pan. Uh, might as well hop in and have a look. We're probably not the first people to do so. I'm not really seeing anything. What was that? Was that poop? Huh. Motorola Walkman. Alright, had to switch batteries, but look what we found! Ooh, a powered subwoofer. Doesn't look particularly... I mean, it's a JBL, right? It's a brand that people don't hate. I don't need one, but if it works, that's like a super easy 50 bucks. And a, um, hmm, a fanny pack, which is not actually leather. That's okay. Bit of metal. It's probably stainless steel. And one. Vacuum cleaners. Cool. Or know what treasures you'll find. Oh. Okay. Interesting. A little bit of pipe. But this is the exciting piece. Stainless steel. Uh, it's a uh, triple walled insulated stainless steel um, solid fuel. It's for a wood stove. Um, unfortunately, it's completely ruined on the one end. Okay. Okay. Quite a bit of creosote buildup, but. <coughs> Type B gas vent. Yeah, a person really shouldn't be combining these with a solid fuel burning appliance. Ask me how I know. <laughs> Two bathtubs. These are probably aluminum, but let's find out. Interesting, those are just steel. I don't know if I've ever seen steel ones before. Kind of blocking the road right now. A well, little bit of wire. Can we make it from here? Yeah. Well, we hit the truck. I'm calling that a win. Oh, hold on. That one's all plastic. Oh well.
Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna fuss with all of the glass because they're just steel and I'd have to smash a lot of glass to get that out of here, but don't know if I'm gonna get away with it. Uh, but they also have brass pipes. Uh, see? Huh. And that brass would be nice to have. Glove back. Out you go. I will think about trying for a second one. Oh, I just, uh, I just destroyed. Well, I guess I'm not using that at home. I don't know if we get a second bathtub, friends. Last time I removed one of these, it was not actually the secret recipe. Oh, that's just plastic. The secret recipe is here. Oh, these ones. Okay, so that one's actually moving. Oh, and that one's actually moving. A huge win for people who forgot their tools everywhere. Okay. Oh, now I remember. There's a special tool. Maybe we have a special tool. What about... Oh my goodness. Look. The special tool was in our hearts all along. straight to the yard. Yeah. I have missed this place. It's been like a week. Okay. file here really is a, a bit of a mess.
Yeah. So much junk in here. Yo. Bye bye now. Someone's just getting the Evo. Same as that. Huh? Aluminum over there. Whee! Yeah. Uh, I still want to keep my bucket. And. Perfection. Huh. Just hit the scale. Now we drop. The prepared. Oh shoot, I forgot about. Nah. Whatever. The chonky stuff. Eh, whatever. And we hit the scale one last time. It's time for a little discus. There's that rotor of mine that got ground right down. Yeah, if you know, you know. Oops! <laughs> and we're left with just the good stuff. And we're back. How did we do? Well, about 80 bucks on the steel, so can't be mad about that not too bad but we came home with a whole bunch of goodies like a lot of stuff to add to the bins we got a bit of stainless steel a good pile of aluminum um, these lots of these brass fittings some wire um, a whole pile of brass some uh, some copper pipe and a little bit of pure soft lead that stuff isn't common at least we don't find it very often so it's always a bit of a you know a sprinkle a little treat nowhere near as much of a treat as having only you here so thanks for keeping me company i'm really looking forward to uh bringing in the well i guess it's a new year so this isn't difficult to say but the largest scrap run of the year so that's going to be real fun and i hope to see you there as well thanks for keeping me company thanks for keeping it awesome thanks for leaving it better than you found it and keep doing the thing <laughs>